In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up a multi-gang box with switches. It doesn't matter if it's a two-gang, three-gang, four-gang, it's all going to be the same thing. And I've added a slight complication here by adding a three-way switch to the mix. We're going to see if that's going to make any difference or not. Okay, so stay tuned, and without further ado, let's dive right in. Alright, so what we have here is a mock-up of a typical three-gang switch box. We have our power coming in right here on the left side, and then these three are going to our light fixtures. And then over here is our three-way switch that's going to be a switch from our left switch. So let's go ahead and get these wires peeled. All I usually do is I take a sharp razor knife and I try to keep the blade in the center of the wire as much as possible. And if possible, keep your hand behind the blade in case it slips off. You don't get this happening, right? So here's our four grounds right here. Let's try to even up the ends of them pretty good. Now notice I've left one long right here. So let's take our Lyman's pliers right here and give these a twist. Now you're going to see here in a second why I'm using two wire nuts. The red wire nut that we're using here is only capable of six number 14 wires, and we're going to wind up with seven. And we'll go ahead and slide a green wire nut over our wires right here and tighten it up. Now let's stuff this back into the box. Kind of being aware of the other wires, I don't like tangling them up in the back of the box with the grounds. Alright, so I got a little stub sticking out of my green wire nut right here, and now I've made three ground pigtails right here that are pretty even in length. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to twist this together with that. Then I'll kind of cut the end off so they're all even. And here's our red wire nut that I was talking about earlier. And just put it in the back of the box. Next, we're going to go ahead and put our neutrals together, kind of evening up the ends. Do the same thing you did with the grounds and twist them together. Go ahead and cut the end a little bit. Now I'm going to show you a different connector here for the hot wires that I like pretty well too. This is your typical wire nut, and the other one is kind of a wire nut too, but it's kind of an interesting wire nut. Alright, let's go ahead and stuff these neutrals in the back. Alright, so I've gone ahead and created loops for all of the wires that I know are going to go on my switches. These two are my travelers that go to my three-way, so I know those go to a switch. And these two go to the other two light fixtures and these three go to grounds. I've got all the loops except for one. All I did was use my tool right here, create a loop that fast. Now here's our single hot wire right here. So the three-way switch on this end is going to get power. That's going to come from here. And then our other two switches are going to get power, and that's going to come from here. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take three pigtails, so here's this connector that I kind of like. It's this ideal lever connector right here. Now these are actually reusable, but what I like about this one is, is you can actually push the wire in without having to flip that lever up. And if you flip it around here, you can clearly see there's a bus bar on the back and you can see your wire poking through on the end right there. And if you want to reuse it, just flip the lever up the wire comes right out. So this is a five port connector, but we only need three. So we'll go ahead and push our supply power in there and our three pigtails. Make sure and give them all a tug. Make sure they're in there good. And then we'll push these back in the box. I'm going to go ahead and peel the ends of my wires and then we're going to put loops on them because I know these are going to my switches. Now switches do have what they call a strip gauge right here, and that does kind of give you a guideline of how far back to strip these. All right, let's go ahead and create our loops. All right, so let's start up with our three-way switch right here. This one is our power source. We're gonna put that one on the black screw. Notice I put the, uh, the curvature of the loop in the same direction the screw tightens up. 
And we'll get our other two, our travelers. They just go on the other two screws. And then finally, our ground pigtail goes on our green screw. Now, a lot of times when you put these switches in the box, you might have a tendency just to push it back in there. I kind of like to neatly roll the wires in there, sort of, you know, kind of fold them a little bit so that you're not just jamming it backwards. Kind of like so. All right, the single pole switches are very simple. Start with our ground here, then take one hot and then one of the other wires that goes to the light fixture. Here's our hot. Here's the one to the middle light fixture since that's our middle switch. And let's just hook up our last switch the same way. Now one thing that I like to do before I screw all my switches in is kind of take a look at where the ground wires are going. Make sure that the ground wires aren't looping up around where they're going to be in contact with any hot wires or anything like that. That's very important to keep those separated. All right, so real quick, let's get this three-way hooked up. Now to save time, I've already put our neutrals together on a wire nut. I've separated our travelers, and this one goes to our light fixture. Now I've already twisted my grounds together, and let me show you what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here. And then I'm just going to slide on a crimp sleeve and crimp it on right there. There we go. Let's go ahead and push our neutrals and our ground in the back, just like so. Now this one goes to our light fixture. It goes on the black screw. And then our travelers go on the other two screws and then our ground. Very simple, same thing. I kind of like to roll those wires in there instead of just pushing them straight back. And there we have it. All right, so I got the power restored. Here's our three-way. Working perfect, our middle light. Everything's working fine. All right, so I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.